Hi guys, so today we're gonna make that cute bow that you just saw. You can do it in any colorway. I'm doing um, black and yellow with that cute little bee on there and flowers and things. So um, let me just show you what I used. So I'm gonna use the bow dabber today and it was just a very simple tool to use to help you hold on to everything instead of having to sew in between or all these other things. Um, but if you wanna do it by hand, uh, you can definitely do that because whatever I explain, it's still gonna be the same by hand. It's just the bow dabber is gonna help me hold it. Okay, so there's the wand. And this is the mini bow dabber with the um, bow maker kit. So it comes with the the uh, machine, of course, or whatever you want to call it. And we are going to be using some of the um, bow making wire. You can use string if you want, whatever you have. You don't have to use the bow dabber wire, okay? But I'm going to use it because it's here. We're going to be about need about 16 inches of that. Um, if you're going to use floss or you know not dental floss I'm talking about floss like the kind that you would embroider with then you would just need the same amount okay so we're going to use about 16 inches of this um, for this specific um, project I chose to use a metal double prong clip these are from Sally's there are a hundred in here and they sell for like five dollars so it's super inexpensive I mean this is and that will last you forever you can make 250 sets of bows or just 500 bows you know total so I'll be using one and they look like this and these are the best ones, in my opinion. Um, let me see if I can measure how wide these are. These are about almost three-eighths of an inch wide, but not quite. So we're going to cover this with um, ribbon. And I normally use ribbon that's the same color as a larger bow, which in this case would be the black base bow, but I ran out. I cannot find my black ribbon. So um, I have this kit here from Michaels. It has this um, three-eighths inch wide grow grain ribbon which is what I like to buy when you buy it buy it in a spool buy basic colors white black pink you know whatever you mostly make your bows with and then you can wrap your um, little guys with this and you're gonna need about five inches or so to wrap this but we'll get to that in a minute okay so that's what you for that for the actual bow I used black satin ribbon and this is one and a half inch satin ribbon from Michaels um, it's that 360 celebrated brand so I'm using that in black I'm also using some gorgeous yellow ribbon that I had just found. I was looking through my ribbon and I thought, oh, that's going to be so cute. This yellow ribbon here. And this is from Pebbles. And I didn't even know Pebbles Ink made ribbon. So I had this. I don't even know how long I've had this in my stash from scrapbooking for years. But I used this yellow ribbon with the white dots. And I believe this ribbon is about 5 eighths wide. Yep, it's a 5 eighths inch ribbon, okay? So if you want to pick whatever 5 inch ribbon you like, you need that. And we're also going to need some tool. I use white tool and it is the thicker kind of tool. They also have tool that has like pretty glitter in it or like a thinner um, netting to it. Um, and I use this one. It's a bit larger as you can see. Um, not very much of this. I just had to cut it by hand. Um, you're going to measure it out. Obviously it comes, and when it kind of comes in a roll, it's a lot easier to use. So. Back up. Let's I get forgot. started. We're so also going to be using um, any kind of little buttons or embellishment that you like that you want to put onto it. And you don't have to do this at all. Okay, you can just leave that off completely. So, okay, to get started, we're going to take our whatever wire and I refold it in half. I'm going to place it right into our little guy here. And let me back up just a little bit so you can see a little bit. I'm just kind of hooking it under the plate, the base plate, so that it's kind of anchored. Just sitting there. And then, um, so we're gonna get started. So I'm gonna take my um, satin ribbon and I already I kind of burned the ends a little bit, even though it's not gonna be showing, but you don't want it to fray. So anyway, I just went through it like that with a flame. This is just a cheap dollar store um, little guy. And sometimes satin ribbon on one side will be nicer than the other. So if you have one where one side of it looks nicer than you want that side facing up, just make sure that side is facing down when you start. Okay, so I already found the midpoint. You want um, nine inches on either side. And I'm just gonna kind of fold this a little bit so it'll fit in here nicely. Okay, so now we have a nice pinch. So what you're gonna do is bring one edge over. As you can see, here's the very edge. And we're gonna trap the edge in here. Okay, so just a little bit of it, like this much that I can grab. It looks like maybe about half an inch or so. I'm gonna push into that area there, okay? Now it looks like a loop, it's a big loop, okay? Now we're going to do the same thing with the other side, but you're going to have to bring it around. You can bring it on the bottom, bring it around this way, however you like. For me, it feels natural to bring it over the, over on the top left here, or however you want to call it. And again, I'm going to grab about half an inch of this ribbon, the very end. I'm going to move this out, and we're going to trap that in there too. Okay, that's how it's going to start your bow. So now you have these two kind of like loops. It makes like an X. I'm going to show you from the side so you can kind of have a better idea. Okay, and what you're gonna do is try to even it out so that you get about about two inch 
loops on either side, okay? So you're gonna kinda try to watch what you're doing. It looks like it's like one and a half inches, but then it ends up being about two. Just kind of split the difference between one and a half and two, okay? So one and three quarters about there. And same thing with the other side. You're gonna kind of eyeball it, and you're kind of keeping it so that one's going one way and the other one's gonna go the other way. Trying to get into the middle of that and just eyeball that. So there you go. The, now you can see it's a nice, really nice cute bow. Even by itself, if you end up just doing this, wrap it up and get it ready going, it's a cute bow. Okay, so we're gonna do that and that's it. I'm gonna put this to the side for a second and I'm just gonna keep that magic wand on there to kind of keep it down. Put that to the side for a second. The white tool, what I do with this is I cut it six inches wide, okay? And it's 12 inches long. Um, since it was thicker, I thought maybe I want less layers of this, so I'm gonna see how it goes, but that's okay. So I'm gonna fold it in half, so now it's three inches wide and still 12 inches long, roughly. Obviously, it's tool, it gets a little bit crazy, so don't even worry about you know what ends up happening here. So we're gonna bring this guy back, and you're gonna lay your tool so it's right over, kind of scrunch it up. So one end is right over this, kind of at that same one and a three quarter inch mark or so. And then you're going to lay it back over on this side and squish it down. Okay, and again, one more time. So now we're gonna lay it over again and that'll be the end of my tool. Okay, so that's it. It just gives some dimension, some added something, and then we're gonna cut this these free edges um, after we're done. So don't even worry about that's a little bit larger or if it's a little centered or however, don't even worry about it. We're gonna trim that with some pinking um, scissors. So I'm gonna push that down again while I get out my yellow ribbon, even though we're almost there. We're almost ready. So here's my yellow ribbon. And I'm gonna make the same exact kind of bow like this first boutique kind of bow that we did. Very simple. This is 13 inches of the yellow uh, 5 8 inch ribbon. So 13 inches, um, go ahead and seal the edges again. Okay, and this we're gonna do exact same thing that we did with the first one. We're gonna take one end, I'm sorry, the middle. <laughs> I always wanna tuck in the ends first. So we're gonna just fold it right in half. Take that middle section, like my tool wants to pop up. It starts getting really full, so I'm pushing that back down. Push that middle section back in. Again, we're gonna take a loop and about the last little bit of that loop, we're gonna push into the Bodabra, get this guy out. And then we're gonna do the same thing with this other guy. I'm gonna have to kind of hold it a little bit. With this guy, we're gonna bring him around and over, just like I did the very first one, I'm gonna bring it under here and get it trapped too. And make sure this one does get trapped because it is getting thicker. It gets a little bit more difficult, but you wanna make sure that that is in there or else it's gonna fall apart. With this bow, now that you have all this stuff, you're just gonna kinda have to eyeball it. This is gonna make a smaller bow. It's gonna be about one inch, maybe a two inch bow by the end of time you're done. And I'm just kinda eyeballing that. I'm gonna push that first section down, push that top section down. And just kind of, if it's a little bit wider on one side, you can pull that opposite one, you know, just to try to get it looking about right. This one probably needs a little more over here. Let me push this down and see how it looks. And that, when you push that down, you kind of have an idea of how your bow's looking. I think that is precious. I think that's really good. Yeah, that's just fine. So there it is. So now I'm gonna hold that down and bring this magic wand out. We're gonna bring up the bow wire. If you were just gonna go from here to, let's say a button, like I'm just gonna add a button right now. Um, and then you're gonna add your, your clasp a different way. Then you can add your little button in and kind of sew it in with the ends of the bow wire. Go through your button and get that on there, okay? But we're not doing that right now. So what I'm gonna do is put that through there, pull it tight, open up the wire a little bit and pull it tight again. And now you can pull it out. And see so you have your cute little bow there. Kind of adjust it however you want. You can keep pulling it tighter if you need to make it a little bit lower profile. And then when you go bring these gold pieces to the back, you wanna make sure you do it in a way that keeps your bow's integrity, okay? Because if you do it crooked, your bow's gonna be crooked. So I'm kind of eyeballing this a little bit better. I'm gonna bring these, take this guy away and bring the gold wires to the back. And I'm just gonna secure that. Now, in the video, sometimes they use this to actually hold onto the hair clip. Like if you go check out Bodabra videos or the video that comes with the, um, the tool. And I don't really like doing that. I'm just gonna do this and I'm gonna end it. 
Um, and then I'm going to use actual um, ribbon like I normally would with any other bow to add it to my um, clip, okay? So I'm just gonna finish that off. And I'm gonna cut these ends off. I don't have my fabric, I only have fabric scissors. I'm not gonna cut this wire with fabric scissors, okay? So I'm gonna cut this and I'll be right back. Of course, as luck would have it, um, I can't find my pinking scissors that I bought just for this project or, you know, for the bows. I don't know where I put them. So anyway, pinking scissors are nice because um, it just makes a cute edge. But what I'm gonna do is just push back my bow. I'm just gonna take regular fabric scissors and we're gonna trim around that tool, just kind of letting it open up and getting rid of that edge. Okay, so now we have that little tool there. On the other side, I'm going to do exactly the same. Just kind of push back my bow and trim off that edge. And I'm kind of making it in a circular or rounded fashion just to get rid of that. Okay, and we bring our little guy back. If it's still too big, like if you think that's still too much tool, you can just come in and trim a little more. I might do that after I'm done here because I'm not sure if I like it quite the way it is yet. Okay, so what we're gonna do is take our, pin, our clip and you can cover this however you like. I like to cover it so that the top is completely covered from the bottom to the top all the way around to the edge. Some people keep going and all the way inside again, right, on this bottom part. But for me, if it's gonna go in your hair, you kind of need these little clips to be exposed to hook into your hair better. So that's up to you. But I'm gonna start with my hot glue gun. And I like to apply a little bit to the actual clip. And I probably should have done this first. This is four inches of that 3 8 inch ribbon. And you want to seal the edges, of course. And I'm gonna apply that. My hot glue is still workable, which is good. Because <laughs> by that time, usually it dries up. Okay, and then this edge is just gonna come around. You're not gonna obviously put glue here. You can't, <laughs> it's almost impossible. Some people like to put the glue on the ribbon. I still like to put it onto the clip. So I'm gonna put some here, all the way down the edges and just bring your ribbon around nice and straight and try to get it to kind of fall right on there. And that quickly, you have your little ribbon wrap. And now on the inside, again, I like to try to add it to the inside. You can add it to the ribbon, however you like to do that, and as best as you can. And I'm just gonna bring this guy over, nice and straight, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully it's nice and straight. Now this little extra stuff you can get rid of later, but I'm just going to pinch that down. So now you have your ribbon wrapped clip. Makes it look a lot more professional, a lot cuter. You can just add it on if you wanted your whole, this whole item, but I like to do that. Okay, so now you're gonna take your clip and you're gonna take your ribbon. Some people like to put a little knot in the ribbon before they add it to the top of the bow. I'm not gonna do that because I'm gonna add this cute little button, but if you wanted to, you would just put a knot in the ribbon. You're gonna need about five inches of that 3 8 inch of ribbon if you do that, but otherwise um, you just need about three inches. And all I'm going to do is kind of wrap it around here. Let's seal the edges. I love to forget to seal the edges. And bring your clip. Situate everything so it's nice. I'll put my clip right in here. Just about there, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is... I haven't made a bow in a long time, guys, so I'm like, hmm, I don't remember this. I'm gonna add a little bit of my hot glue to the end of the ribbon itself and bring that through. Normally I don't do it this way. I had a different whole plan on this, but that's okay. I was going to add a button instead of just um, sticking on that top part, so I just wasn't planning on this middle section until now. And then I'm going to bring this guy through. It's a little bit longer than I need it to be, so I'm going to shorten that up. But we're going to add some hot glue right in here. And you can always clean up those little hot glue strands afterwards. There's going to be lots of them. A lot of times it ends up being lots of them. I'm probably going to cut this guy off right here, because that was too much. Okay, there's my little bow. So cute. And now at the very top, let me go ahead and cut this guy off, and I'm gonna seal it very carefully uh, off camera. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut that piece off there. And so now I'm just gonna add my little guy. This one does not have a button on the back. It doesn't have a shank uh, on the back there, should I say. So all I'm gonna do is just put down some hot glue and add the little dude right in the middle. 
And if you did have one that had a button, you can break the shank off if you want. You can actually use it to sew it on if you want, and however you want, it's up to you. So I'm gonna hold that down, clean it up, and there it is. Quick, easy, cute bow, and hopefully you guys like this quick tutorial using the Bodabra, and I'll see you all at the next one. Bye now.